Good day, folks. Welcome to Andrew's Life. Let's get right to it. Uh, for those of you guys that have been watching social media, which I'm pretty sure that's almost every last one of you that are watching me, you guys have heard a lot of speculation of why people vote the way people vote. And on this video, I am going to be talking about those for a little bit. And then I'm going to get to more common, more practical reasons, more logical reasons of why people vote the way people vote. And although this is going to be about voting on the federal level, before I get to this, before I continue with this video, I just want to emphasize to everybody here that. It is just as important, if not more important even, to vote on the local and state level. So, uh, come November uh, 5th, I believe that's when voting day is, come November 5th, when you vote, don't only focus on the federal vote. You need to also vote on the local and state level too. I can't emphasize how important that is because you can have a, because federally the economy could be crappy, but there's cases to where if your local area or the state does, or your state does the right thing, you can still live in an area to where the economy is still functioning the way it should be or functioning better than other economies. Which is what happened during the GFC. I'll give you guys an example. I mean, back during the tail end of the last recession, I was living in Toledo, Ohio. There were a lot of people in Toledo, Ohio, myself included, that couldn't find a job to save our lives. We couldn't even get a job working at Mickey D's at that time. Now me, I left Toledo and I moved into Indiana and I moved to Indianapolis. It took me two weeks to find a full-time job in Indianapolis. As we're in Toledo, it took me four months just to find a part-time job. So when it comes time to vote, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is to vote on the local and state level, as well as on the federal level, of course. So now let's get to the rest of the video. Now here are some common reasons why they say black people are voting for Trump. Hatred of black women slash black people. So apparently, if somebody like myself decided, you know what, we're voting for Donald Trump November 5th. A lot of people would, a lot of people in the black community would speculate that I hate black women. I hate black people, which is completely ridiculous. And that is not the reason why, for, for those of us in the black community that are voting for Trump, I can promise you, we are not going to vote for Trump because we hate black women or we hate black people. If anything, if we do end up voting, for those of us that do end up voting for Trump, it's going to be quite the opposite of what the speculation is. Another reason why they say black people are voting for Trump is because we do not want to see a black woman become president. And again, Speaking as a black man who is not falling for the okie doke on the Democrat Party side, I can say this. We don't care about, I mean, we don't care about Harris being a woman. We don't care about the fact that she is female, obviously. And we don't really give two rips about her race. The reason why a lot of us, well, the reason, I mean, for those of us, of course, who are choosing to not vote Democrat, 
the reason why we're choosing to not vote Democrat, the reason why we're choosing to not vote for Harris is because, quite frankly, her policies suck. And that crap about what she was going to do for black men, if you read between, if you think between the lines of what she's really telling you, her policies are not specifically only for black men. In reality, they're going to be for everybody. Because it says, because I mean, if you go to her website, she discusses her policies a little bit. And she says for black men and others. Who do you think the others are? Well, anyone that truly knows the Democrat Party realizes others is uh, females in general, females across the racial lines, uh, any minority, even if, I mean, you know, if someone is, uh, if someone is of the alphabet community, they're considered a minority. If they're handicapped in certain ways, that's also considered a minority. So it's safe to say that when she says others, really what she means is for everybody. Which, honestly, it is what it is. I'm not going to say I see anything wrong with that. I'm just going to say, as black people, we need to quit falling for the okie doke And look at things for what they truly are and learn to think and read between the lines. And all the plans that she had for black men, supposedly, to be quite frank, most black men don't have the resources to, for an example, we don't got the resources to start or participate in the cannabis industry. So the others are going to benefit more off of her policies than black men. And also, as black people, some of us recognize that we've been voting for the Democrat Party for 60 years and to this day haven't gotten a damn thing out of it. And like I discussed the other day, some of the measures that the Democrat Party could have done to protect black people, they failed to do. So for reasons such as the reasons I discussed on the video that I made the other day, feel free to go back and watch it, among many other reasons. I mean, like I said, Harris's policies are trash, and that's why some of us in the black community are not voting for Harris. It's got nothing to do with the fact that she's a woman, and it's got nothing to do with the fact that we don't want a black woman in the White House, which... Some of you guys are still falling for that BS too. Not that it really makes a difference, but any idiot can look at her and tell that she's not black, she's Indian. Which, again, it makes no difference. Her policies still suck. Now let's go on to the stereotypes of why uh, a lot of white folks are voting for Donald Trump or they vote Republican. Well, apparently, if you're white and you're voting for Donald Trump, you are a bigot slash a racist. And I said bigot slash racist because bigot and racist means two totally different things. I made a video about a month and a half, about a month or so ago, give or take, breaking down the true meaning of a racist. Now, a lot of you disagreed on that, but it's okay. It's still not going to change what it means. But another reason why... Apparently, a lot of white people are voting for Donald Trump is because they don't believe in women's rights. Well, maybe you might have a few that are like that. But I always say for the vast majority of decent people that are voting for Trump, even decent white people that are voting for Trump, it's not that they don't believe in women's rights. It's that when a woman lays down and she does, and she, uh and she does certain things that might cause her to get pregnant, I think there's more people that just simply are like, no, nah, we don't believe in you killing a fetus. We don't believe in you taking the life of a human being. 
Go ahead, have that baby. If you don't want to raise that baby, at least give that child a chance and put it up for adoption. Now, me being a doctor myself, I will tell you straight up, I am strongly opposed to abortion. Now, there are, I get that there are reasons for a woman to abort her, uh, her, her unborn child. I mean, like, A, if she was hard, or B, if her giving birth was going to somehow endanger her life or the life of the unborn, okay, that's, one, that's a completely different situation. But if she's out here laying around and not using protection while she's laying around, then I'm sorry, but in my humble opinion, and in the opinion of many people that tend to vote conservative slash Republican, in the opinion of many people that are voting for Donald Trump, somebody like that uh, needs to go ahead and face the music of her actions. You don't get to eliminate the life of an unborn human being because you won't be out here being reckless. We don't believe in that over here. It's got nothing to do with 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 women's rights. So, uh, let's keep on going. And another common reason why many of you believe why white fo- why, why white people vote Republican or they're voting for Donald Trump is because they're sexist. You got a bunch of sexist white people voting for Donald Trump. They don't want to see a woman become president. And some of you in the black community, again, you would emphasize, you know, white people don't want to see a black woman to become president. They don't want to see a woman, period, to become president. That's what some of y'all believe. And again, there are people in the white community that, yeah, they might truly be opposed to a female, period, becoming president. And maybe and there are white folks that, yes, they may be opposed to a minority becoming president. But I think in this particular, I, I think for the most part, again, the majority of white people that are voting for Donald Trump are voting for Donald Trump over Harris because, again, as I said just a couple of minutes ago, Harris's policies suck. Her policies are not favorable to American people. As we should, uh, you know, as we saw the last four years that she's been running, I mean, yeah, I get it. She's only vice president, but still, she was still in the White House. And for those of you that uh, listened, listened to her interview the other day, they asked her what would she do different compared to what Joe Biden did differently. Basically, in a nutshell, she said nothing. She would basically do much of the same things that Joe Biden did. So that tells you everything about her that you need to know in terms of what her policies are and what her intentions are going to be when she gets into the White House, if she gets into the White House, which I hope she, do, which I hope she doesn't. So basically, in a nutshell, her policies suck. And that's why a lot of white folks are not voting for Harris. You even got white folks that were Democrat that switched over to Republican, or they maybe they're independent and they're deciding that they're going to vote for Donald Trump because they feel that his policies are more favorable to American people than Harris's are. And personally, I agree, obviously. So now, here are several reasons why most people regardless of race, most decent people are voting for Donald Trump. And none of these are in any specific order. Protect our country. Effective border patrol. I mean, it's, I, it's safe to say that the majority of us that care about our safety, we care about the safety of the country that we reside in and that we have our families in and, and our homes in and everything like that. We don't want this anybody being able to come across the border. And then if they choose to commit a crime, since they're undocumented, 
There's no way to identify who the hell they are to bring them to justice. And that's very dangerous as uh, some of us have had the unfortunate of finding out. So, yes, Border Patrol is extremely important to those of us who give a crap about our country and give a crap about our family and our friends and our community. Keep American tax dollars and resources for Americans only. That's another reason why many of us who are voting for Donald Trump or maybe voting for Donald Trump or voting for maybe, I mean, that's another reason why a lot of people are voting for Donald Trump, regardless of race. Because all the money that us working Americans are forced to pay into the tax system here in America, we don't want, again, we don't want a bunch of people that have not contributed into this country to just be able to come over here whenever the hell they want to and they actually get more benefits from the American tax dollar than the Americans, than us Americans ourselves get. They come over here and live better than half of us. And they didn't even have to contribute to the tax base, which is backwards. And I think most of us who have some sense can agree that that's backwards. Keep Americans employed, or other words, the economy. A lot of us are concerned about the economy. The economy right now is not doing all that well. You got a lot of people out of work for various reasons. And a lot of us, myself included, expect, I mean, you know, whether you're working blue collar or even if you're working white collar. Uh, we don't want, you know, some of us have enough sense to not vote for our, to not vote for our own demise, because if you vote if Harris makes presidency, chances are a bunch more of us are gonna lose our jobs. The jobs that we work today are gonna be, you know, we're gonna be replaced by illegals and migrants. And again, that is not fair. It is not right. It is completely backwards. I mean, why should we, as American people, pay, be forced to pay our tax dollars into this country and then not benefit from our tax dollars? And then on top of that, we're losing our jobs and our positions, I mean, and, we're, and we're being replaced by these other people that are able to work for a fraction of what they would have to pay an American. I mean, so yeah. The economy is a huge concern for many of us. Decrease inflation. Now, a lot of you might say, well, if, if Trump makes the White House, if he makes presidency, uh, you know, it's going to take time for all this stuff to happen. It's not going to happen overnight. Okay. You know what? It may not happen overnight. It most likely it won't. But guess what? It's... As far as I'm concerned, we got time. I mean, we got time. I mean, in my opinion, nothing can be much worse than voting in a individual who's going to continue to use the American tax dollars to benefit everybody except American people. That's how I look at it. So <laughs> nothing can be any worse than electing somebody like that. And as far as the decrease of inflation, let me make it clear. When, when I say decrease inflation, it doesn't necessarily mean that the prices of merchandise is going to go down. It simply means that the level of inflation is going to go down. Like, I'll give you a very generic example. If I'm selling an item at a store, if, if I'm... If you're looking to buy an item at a store, let's say that item costs you, right now it costs you a dollar. With the level of inflation right now, let's say next month, that item might be a dollar ten. What a decrease of inflation means, 
rather than an item going from a dollar to a dollar ten, it might go from a dollar to maybe a dollar three or a dollar five. Hopefully, you guys understand what I'm trying to say there. Another reason why you got a lot of people, decent people, who are voting for Donald Trump is because less taxes. Who the hell wants to pay more taxes, especially if our tax dollars aren't going to benefit the American people? They're going to benefit everybody except the American people. That's ludicrous. That's crazy. More tax breaks. Who doesn't want a tax break? The American people deserve a tax break. I mean, to be quite frank, we ought to be able to claim these migrants on our taxes. I'm just saying. We ought to be able to claim them as dependents. But as far as it goes for tax breaks, like I'll give you guys a couple of, of examples. Like if Donald Trump gets reelected, I mean, he did this back in back during his last term and he'll most likely do it again. He'll give bit he'll give businesses a tax break. Some of you might be like, why should these greedy businesses that are making billions of dollars get a tax break? Well, I'll tell you why. Because if a business gets a tax break in the United States, it's gonna encourage them for lack of better for lack of better wording, it's going to encourage them to stay in the United States. It's going to encourage them to keep Americans working as opposed to people from other countries working. And as a side note, I understand America is not actually a country. America is a continent. So let me make let me be abundantly clear. When I say America, I'm talking the United States. So let me be perfectly clear. When I say America, I'm talking about the United States. And also Donald Trump has discussed that he would also like on on overtime, you're not going to have to pay taxes on overtime. He discussed that. So for those of you who are working your buns off at the factory or at the warehouse and you're working at OT, Donald Trump has mentioned that you will not have to pay taxes on your overtime, which is going to be beneficial, obviously, for many of you that do work overtime like that. And another reason why many of us are voting for Donald Trump slash Republican is because, hey, you know, I, I've already discussed this a little earlier, but many of us are against abortion. It ain't that we're against women's rights, it's that we're against abortion. We're against the reckless killing of a unborn human being. Like I said earlier, if a woman chooses to go out here and have intercourse and be reckless and not use a contraceptive, I mean, obviously, that is your choice, that is her right, but she should not have the right to then eliminate the life of an unborn human being. And again, given that I'm adopted, I am adamantly against abortion. And in a nutshell, now I'm, I, I know there's more reasons why people who are voting for Donald Trump are voting for Donald Trump. But these are the reasons that I thought about off the top of my head. So hopefully for those of you that are kind of on the fence of who you're going to vote for or rather you're going to vote at all. Or yeah, so for those of you who are on the fence about that type of stuff, hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. Hopefully you understand that not everyone that votes Republican are a bunch of bigots. Not every black person that votes Republican hate black people, hate black women. That's ridiculous. That's, that's false. And I'm going to add one more thing. Although I despise the Democrat Party for civil reasons, I also understand. I mean, not me personally, if someone came to me and they told me, Andrew, I'm, I'm voting Democrat, I'm, I'm, I'm voting for Harris, okay. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm going to strongly disagree with their 
with, with who they vote for. But whatever. Am I going to hate that person? No. If I'm friends with that, if I was friends with that person before, I'm going to still be their friend. I'm not going to change and dislike the person because they vote for somebody who I disagree with, who I don't want to vote for. No. And I understand there's a lot of people that are voting Democrat that are good people. They're wonderful people. And I would never take that away from them. Despite the fact that I would strongly disagree with who they're voting for. So, that's all I got on this one. Everybody stay blessed. I'll catch you guys on the next one.